What's going on, everybody? It's The Hook Cam back again with some more content. Today, Patrick Chung signed a two-year extension with the New England Patriots, and that really got me thinking about his evolution as a football player uh, in the New England Patriots system and how much he's grown from being you know, a free safety and really somebody that New England wanted to drop back into coverage to being almost an in-the-box safety and almost like a linebacker for a lot of what New England runs today. Now, before I dive into this video and really the schematics of everything, if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to my channel, The Hook Camo, that would be awesome standing i appreciate all the support that i'm getting it really does mean the world to me if you could also hit that subscribe button to jackson kruger sports my man is putting out a ton of content left and right i get to put my stuff on his channel and he's just he's just a good guy one of those guys that i'm really happy that i met and one of those guys that i'm really happy that i'm working for one more thing that i want to plug before we dive too far into this video is these affinity masks made by my good friend uncle eric he's doing a lot to help out the medical community as well as citizens who just want to be a little bit more sanitary now these masks are reusable and he gave me a little discount code to give to the people discount code cam you see right there to the right of the screen i'll highlight it right there bam give you a quick two bucks off at checkout 20 bucks reusable mask we got to use them so you might as well help support somebody that i know makes great quality products as far as masks go and video content. So go ahead and click that link in the description if you would want one of these masks. And with all that being said, let's dive on into this video. For now, with all that being said, let's dive in to a little bit of this content. Let's dive into a little bit of this film. So what I have here is some film from 2010. We got Patrick Chung right here playing deep safety. Okay, now he's playing safety to the field side, right? So we would call him the free safety in this situation. And New England's just running a really simple cover two. That's all. All right, we're going to drop our two deep safeties. Really simple in the red zone. We're going to rally to anything underneath. The weakness of this defense, obviously, is the middle of the field, which the Steelers expose. And we'll see in a lot of these situations in this older film, Patrick Chung lining up at that deep safety spot. And coming out of college, Patrick Chung drafted in the second round, 34th overall to the New England Patriots. Now, he's 5'11", ran about a, I think I I saw that he ran a 449 or 4540. So he's pretty fast. He's pretty big. He weighs about 210 pounds. And I feel like New England really saw a Rodney Harrison 2.0 in this guy, which is why they immediately put him at that deep safety spot. And we'll see in a situation like this right here, a lot of what they were running was zone. This is just a really simple cover three cloud. We're clouding here. We're going to drop to this deep half. We're going to drop to the middle of the field here. Excuse me, we're going to drop to this third. And then we're going to drop to this third with our other cornerback. A really simple cover three. That's all this is, right? And the evolution of Patrick Chung obviously is closely tied with the evolution of the New England Patriots and what they run defensively. Now, a big part of that changes when they end up going to a lot more man coverage, which is what we'll see when Patrick Chung came back to New England in 2014. 2013, he spent with the Philadelphia Eagles, had a decent year, nothing too crazy. But he comes back to New England and they immediately put him into this almost in the box role. And really what the Patriots transformed into, we have to remember the signing of Darrell Rivas changes a lot of things. So we have Darrell Rivas manned up, we have Alfonso Denard manned up on this side, we have a deep safety right here with Devin McCourty. And then we have Patrick Chung who's essentially going to be manned up on any tight end. And what I really think that this did is it forced New England to put a safety in the box, which is great, right? Stop the running game, add another body to the box, and we'll go from there. But what I think that it showed the Patriots is that Patrick Chung can play with the dudes in the middle, right? Look at a situation like this where he's coming down to fill, and he's going to wear a block from a, a receiver and then come up and make a play, a really good job. And he did this time and time again throughout 2014. We look here in the Super Bowl, right? And Patrick Chung is going to be manned up with a tight end. And this is, like I said, this is the evolution of him going from this deep free safety to now somebody who's going to be in the box to now somebody who's going to be manned up with a tight end. And with him being manned up with a tight end, with him having run gaps to fill, I think that you look at what Belichick and Patricia saw, and they saw a guy who can actually kind of play a sort of linebacker position for the Patriots. What's great about that is that he has a lot more speed than other linebackers you would have in that position. Obviously, a guy like Dante Hightower is almost 270 pounds. He's not going to be able to run a 4-5. It's just not going to happen. But Patrick Chung has the ability to be physical in the box, to come up and fill a gap, and at the same time, be able to cover a tight end. So he adds a little bit of depth at the linebacker and the safety position in some ways. And here's just a really simple wide zone that the Seahawks are going to run. Luke Wilson's going to be working up to Patrick Chung right here, and he's going to be able to fight this block off and not really make a play on it, but he's coming to fill. And this is a big play to make for somebody who's covering a tight end, right? If you don't get there, if you don't force that edge, then we have this entire thing to work around right here. If Luke Wilson's able to reach this block, Patrick Chung gets sealed on that, and we have nowhere to go. Instead, we do a decent job of working to that outside and forcing him back into the teeth of this defense. 
defense. Really good job from Patrick Chung. And what we see throughout Chung's career is him really diving on grenades for his teammates and being that guy who's, you know, he's going to take on a block from a fullback like he does here. He's going to take on a block from a tight end, right? And this play really spoke volumes to me about Patrick Chung, okay? What's going to end up happening is going to be Patrick Chung, right? And this is that famous play that we see, right? Hightower fighting off a tackle and making this play. Excuse me, fighting off literally a tackle and then making the play um, about a yard away from the goal line. But watch what Patrick Chung does on this play. Okay, this is a really simple, almost wide zone lead where we're going to lead with our fullback right here on this alley player, right? Chung takes on this block and obviously you're not going to make this play, but this is a lot to mentally do, right? And especially a guy who's probably 40 pounds less than what that fullback is bringing to the table. That's a big play to make. And not only is that a big play to make, but it's a big play to make on the biggest stage in the game, and that's in the Super Bowl. Just a phenomenal job here, and that gives Hightower the ability to come across and make that play. So I think that Chung really earned that respect and he earned the stripes of being able to be a guy who's in the box, being able to be a guy who can bang with the tight ends and with the fullbacks and come up and, and free up lanes for your linebackers. Right? And we look at right here, this is this is from this last year, week one. Where's Patrick Chung again? He's lined up over a tight end, coming up and making a play in the backfield. And really, it, it speaks volumes to me about where New England is going with this offseason. They lose a major piece in a guy like Tom Brady. But what they do is they try and keep as much leadership around as possible. They keep Devin McCourty. They keep a guy like Joe Tooney who's been able to be healthy for the majority of his career. In fact, I don't think he's missed a game. And then you keep a guy like Patrick Chung to really help mentor the young bucks that you have. A guy like Kyle Duggar who could end up being the next Patrick Chung. Chung's older, right? He, he's not a young buck anymore. He's an older guy. Here's a great look at what Patrick Chung can still bring, right? Steelers are trying to run a little, almost like a pick route. We're coming across here with our number one, and then we're running a little whip route right here back out to the sideline with our number two receiver. We close on this thing, bring up a third and short. Sure tackling, that's what Chung's done his entire career, and he's one of those unsung heroes for New England who's really done a tremendous job throughout his career uh, of do, literally just doing your job, right? And we look at a little bit more of what Chung brings to the table here against the Kansas City Chiefs, okay? You know, the mobility of quarterbacks and the ability for guys like Lamar, guys like Mahomes, guys like Josh Allen to really move the pocket, move their launch point. A guy like Patrick Chung becomes even more valuable. Right here, Patriots are going to run a cover two, right? Boom, we're working here and we're working here. Okay, well, the middle of the field player is now Patrick Chung. He's going to run Tampa two, which means that he's going to work out to the number three receiver. Now that number three receiver started in here and then works out on a little shake route. We'll take this thing from the top to see it. Now his job in cover two, excuse me, in Tampa two is going to be to wall the number three receiver. Okay, well, number three receiver, I guess, is technically Travis Kelsey here, who's locked in. He's coming into chip, and we're going to get our number two guy who's working what looks to be to the middle of the field, and then he ends up working back out there, right? So he's just supposed to wall off, okay? And they're really trying to attack the edge of this defense. But you can see kind of where his roles change. We think about back in 2010 where he was lined up back here as a deep safety, and they're trying to run a lot of cover two, a lot of three cloud, a lot of things with two safeties deep and really trying to make quarterbacks guess there. Now we're running a lot more against the Chiefs they ran cover two. They kind of went into the history books, but now we see a a lot more man-to-man -man coverage and we see also Patrick Chung lining up in the box that's the other thing is that they are so comfortable with him now as a as a defender that they're willing to let him line up in the box let him line up and and play run gap play a gap fit as opposed to way back when where he really was a, a deep player he was playing in the middle of the field and he was trying to cover right here's another situation where we're going to drop into Tampa too Patrick Chung is going to work to the number three receiver on this side. We can see him turn right there. He's supposed to wall off whoever number three is. This is going to be the closest guy to him, so he's going to try to wall him off. And we just work, and we work to depth, right? Nothing too crazy with how they're running. Again, I'm just showing you how things have changed with what Patrick Chung has done. Here we go again against the Bills. It was a big-time game for the Patriots, and once again, Patrick Chung manned up with a tight end this time. So really, we see his role defined by a couple of things. Here he is right here, and all he's going to be doing is reading this tight end. This tight end is going to down block, so he's going to fill. Right, really good job from Chung. And it's a guy who has been in the system forever. It's a guy who knows, you know, what Belichick is going to ask of him. He's, he knows what whoever that defensive coordinator is going to ask from him. And he does that job and he does it very well. And on top of all of that, he has his leadership abilities and he has a bunch of young bucks who are coming in and learning that system of New England. And New England's done a good job of keeping that core together, keeping the leadership together. As much as that loss of Tom Brady affects everything, absolutely. And they lose Kyle Van Noy and Jamie Collins. They lost a lot. Drawn Harmon, they lost a ton on the defense. 
But when you look at that leadership, Hightower, Devin McCourty, Lawrence Guy, you have these, these people who they've built a, a defensive powerhouse on who are still there. So anyway, guys, that's all I got for the video today. I hope you enjoyed this little evolution of Patrick Chung, where he started and where he is now. And hopefully that sheds a little bit of light on why New England extended him, created a little bit more cap space, and where what role he's going to play in New England in the years to come. And really an unsung hero like Patrick Chung, who deserves this shine, uh, deserves a little bit more time in the spotlight than, uh, than I think other people would talk about him. So with all that being said, guys, I'm Hook Kim. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, that would mean the world to me. Also, make sure to check out Jackson Kruger Sports. Phenomenal human being putting out content left and right. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. I'm sure that there'll be more coming out soon. But uh, until next time, everybody stay safe, and uh, I'll see you next time.